guys, it's Rhea here. I watch you guys on WAGA TV, Fox 5, all of the time. Here's the thing, I need a little bit of dating advice. Dating in the city of Atlanta, Georgia is horrible. So after a series of grueling dates, I've been landing on the old fashioned trick. Phone a friend, fake emergency call. My friends are sick and tired of bailing me out. So here's my question. Is it wrong to bail on a date if you know it won't lead to a second one? No. Nope. Nah. Get out of there. No. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Get out? You get, out. get out? Yeah, get out. And I've phoned a friend before. If you have to ask the hostess to get you out of there, like, get out of there. I think we've all had encountered yeah. something like that. You've what did they just, all the time. It's I'll text really them, like, bad. call me and tell, just say somebody died, because I got to go. <laughs> just say, somebody say dead. somebody died. And then, you know I'm an actress, you know I'm good. So I'll just cry, like, oh my God, I'm And they'll be like, wait, you need to leave? Yes, yes, I got to go. But then I always tell people, because it sounds like this happens too often, but if you know or if you got a hunch that this person might not be the one or you might not have right. that chemistry, just don't go. Don't waste your time. Yeah. At that point, it's not even about, let's just eat dinner. Maybe it could turn into something. Like, having dinner with somebody that you're just not connecting right. with is so bad. Like, you just want to get out yeah. of there. You definitely don't want to go on the right. second one. Don't leave the guy on. Right. I, and I hear you ladies. I hear it can be painful when you're with somebody that you do not like. However, I believe in the laws of reciprocity. And if you are doing that to somebody else, don't be surprised when somebody does it to you. And it might not be a date. It could be a boss. It could be your girlfriend. Yeah. It could be a friend. But if you are so inconsiderate of someone else's time, energy, and money, that's coming back on you. Sorry. Now, Diane, I'd rather you know. to say that. <laughs> Bring it back. Well, I'd rather you know. to say that, Diane. I didn't but you say know what, though? Look, ladies, you all have this born thing that God gave of you. You all have intuition. Your intuition is real. You're sitting there. You know this ain't it. You, know, you, don't need to, you don't need to finish the meal. You don't need the wine to come to help you get through it. Get up, mm -hmm. go to the bathroom, and go to your car. <laughs> that ain't Leave. That is no, that's, I, that's his worst. No, let me tell that's you something. I've told that my daughter, wrong. if you're sitting there and you know this boy is a bum and it ain't working, Get up, go to the bathroom, and go get in your car. But see, in your opinions, at no point has anybody said, be honest. <laughs> be honest. If you don't like him, just say, hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate this time. But you know, this ain't working. Yeah. So we you just gonna do end that. it. You can do that on the way home. <laughs> Next him later. You Next in your later. car. Some people can't hey, do the face-to-face -face and listen, be honest. And I'm, I'm wondering honestly, when it comes to I just like can't that. do you. Yeah. It's not working yeah. out. You're not and, it's, and, and Diane, it's nothing wrong with, like I said to her earlier, it's nothing wrong with being honest. But like you said, like some people can't communicate in person and just be that brutally honest and say, look, I don't like you. So like you said, if when I leave, I'll call you or I'll text you. Hey, you know what? It was nice, but no Y'all wrong. Single women, don't believe the, them. No. Y'all call me. I'm going to give okay, you some coaching. But now listen to me. <laughs> the problem with men, ladies, is if you sit there, we're stupid. We don't see that it's going wrong. Mm -hmm. We thinking everything mm -hmm. just fine. Do you know how many times you done sat across from a man knowing it wasn't nothing, and he just full steam ahead? <laughs> he just rolling mm -hmm. through. He the bull in the china shop. Just tank. He making it worse. You don't owe him that. Yep. And I'm telling you, if you let him... Now, all of a sudden, he attached to you. Now getting rid of him is a little bit more difficult. All of you have had a man pursue you that you did not want to pursue. Mm -hmm. If you'd have got him, left him right there in that restaurant, you could have stopped a lot of this. But you being nice. <laughs> just, just call me sometime. Now. now he calling all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, walk out. I say run. Dive out a window. <laughs> dive out a window and let him see you dive out the window. <laughs> Which is still very honest. He gets the yeah. he gets the point. Yeah. That's straight up. Ladies, thank you so much. You broke, so. Really enjoyed. <laughs> you broke. Really enjoyed y'all. That's our panel today. We'll be right back, folks.